Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Uh, we do want to apologize, we are running a bit behind on our consultations. But anyways, let's get into the reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in regards to love and romance for the month remaining of February 2020 going into March in regards to love and romance. All right. So your first card here, Scorpio, is engagement. Wow. Romantic feelings and passion. Wow. All right, Scorpio. So what they're showing me here is a lot of commitments for a lot of you guys out there, those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship. Finally, that partner or that person is willing to uh, take it to the next level. Uh, engagement may be on the horizon for some of you guys, those of you guys that are not already engaged, um, or taking it to the next level, whatever that may mean. For those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I do see a commitment coming up, and this is of uh, that of the family dynamic. So for some of you guys, those of you guys that are already married, this could indicate uh, looking or wanting to purchase your first property, your first home. Uh, for some of you guys, it could even be changing residency, that type of energy, as I do see that uh, in regards to the relationship itself, it's very, very structured or very strengthened. I feel that you guys have been tested and there is definitely where do we go from here? How do we push through? So I do see a lot of movement, a lot of progress in a positive way. Uh, romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I do see a deepening of a connection for some of you guys, like I said, uh, commitments for others, commitments in the sense of actually buying or purchasing your first home together. Uh, for others of you, it's just like uh, bringing the relationship, uh, connecting on a deeper level. And I know that this is something that Scorpios uh, tend to need when it comes to partnerships. And I definitely do see that. I see the passion being ignited, uh, the desire, uh, the, the, the ambition as a couple, as a whole, is definitely giving you guys that, that energy of passion and intensity coming through. I can, it's almost palpable. Um, for those of you guys that are currently single or have been single for quite a while, uh, for some of you guys, it could have been coming out of a long-term committed relationship. For others of you, it could have been that there was an engagement or even like living together and it just didn't work out. Um, if you're currently going through that situation, what they're saying here is that there is still romantic feelings there. There is still love for one another, uh, whatever the circumstances may, may be, um, they're still emotionally invested in you and what they're saying here is, you know, if you constantly find yourself thinking of the, of them, of your ex-partner or constantly like uh, bumping into each other or anything like that, this is like destiny at play right now. I feel that there is a lot of lessons that the partner needs to learn in order for them to be able to elevate and be able to meet you halfway. And I think that time is of the essence right now, or time is something that is, uh, perhaps you see it as restriction, uh, but again, there is a need or a necessity for them to step back and to really take in the lessons that were taught in this partnership. Um, allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. So I do see a positive outcome for those of you guys that currently, like recently separated. Uh, there may be some type of reconciliation on the horizon. There may be some type of uh, situation that arises. I want to say around March. Uh, where the person actually reaches out or wants to physically see you and you guys speak uh, without like be without being guarded you guys speak your truth and you find that the passion is still there the desire to want to work on the relationship is still there uh, so I do see that there's probabilities of some type of reconciliation um, be very mindful not to rush into anything meaning uh, if you know the, the, the booze start flowing or if you guys decide to go on a date or something like that and just passion, you know, pretty much takes over you guys. 
don't rush into it because you don't want to make the same mistakes that have been made in the past. Uh, take it step by step. Um, really not for your sake, but more so from your partner's perspective so that they can actually uh, accept or understand the lessons that needed to be learned and moving forward uh, to be able for them to put the effort into wanting to reconcile or fix uh, whatever issues uh, they were refusing to do so. So again, very positive rating. Uh, now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, again, like I said, I do see a lot of progress movement. I see plans is what they're telling me. Plans are going to be very important in March. Uh, for those of you guys that um, are currently living together, uh, engagement may be on the horizon. And as well as, again, like I said, moving or purchasing a home, it could be purchasing a vehicle as well, but I, I see it more like in the structure of a home. Um, so again, be mindful not to rush into anything. Make sure that you find the one that is right for you, for your plans, for your family, that type of energy make sure that you know uh, you're not very rash when it comes to decision making especially when it comes to uh, putting out money or finances um, make sure that it's exactly what it is that you're looking for okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon bye